Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into neonatal phototherapy units. Let's start the video by looking into the history of phototherapy. Richard Kremer, who died at the age of 89, was the doctor who discovered the curative value of sunlight on jaundiced babies, which led to the use of phototherapy machines in neonatal wards across the world. Kremer made his landmark discovery early in his career while working as a registrar in pediatrics at Rockford General Hospital, Essex, during the hot summer of 1956. Working alongside P.W. Perryman and D.H. Richards, he noticed the effect of direct sunlight on a specimen of blood taken from a jaundiced baby. The yellowish skin tone that is the telltale sign of jaundice is caused by high levels of bilirubin, a neurotoxic substance found in the blood that is normally excreted in bile or metabolized in urine. Since Krimmer's original phototherapy machine, researchers have modified the model. Modern phototherapy machines use halogen bulbs, light-emitting diodes or LED, fluorescent lights, or a combination of all three in addition to blankets that contain fiber optics to increase skin exposure to light. Combination lights are the most effective because they deliver the intensity of halogen spotlights while the use of LED lights cuts down on the excessive heat generated during a session. So why is neonatal phototherapy used? Phototherapy is the use of visible light to treat severe jaundice in the neonatal period. Approximately 60% of term babies and 85% of preterm babies will develop clinically apparent jaundice, which classically becomes visible on day 3, peaks days 5 through 7, and resolves by 14 days of age in a term infant and 21 days in the preterm infant. Treatment with phototherapy is implemented in order to prevent the neurotoxic effects of high serum unconjugated bilirubin. Phototherapy is a safe, effective method for decreasing or preventing the rise of serum unconjugated bilirubin levels and reduces the need for exchange transfusion in neonates. How does a phototherapy machine work? The most effective phototherapy units deliver output in the blue-green region of the visible spectrum, including the commercially available special blue fluorescent tubes and increasingly light-emitting diode units. Special blue tubes and LED units are particularly effective because they provide light with wavelengths that penetrate the skin well and are absorbed maximally by bilirubin. Phototherapy units treat hyperbilirubinemia by irradiating the baby with light in the blue region of the spectrum from 420 to 500 nanometers. The light oxidizes the bilirubin in the blood, thus producing compounds that can be eliminated from the body. The unit consists of a bank of 20-watt fluorescent lamps positioned 30 to 40 centimeters above the infant. Of concern is the lamp lifetime, typically averaging 1,000 hours. Some phototherapy units incorporate an hour meter to record bulb life and infant treatment time. In order to maintain irradiance levels at therapeutic levels, periodic measurement with a photometer of irradiance at the infant surface is required. Let's look into the components of a conventional phototherapy unit. The conventional phototherapy unit consists of the overhead unit, which consists of LED-based or fluorescent tube light array, power switch, boost button which intensifies the light from minimum to maximum, display for indicating the timer and light intensity, angle, and height adjustment knob. If we look inside the phototherapy unit, we will find one LED driver board, timer and processor CPU, and power supply. Where the LED driver board controls the voltage and current of the LED or fluorescent tubes and timer and processor CPU controls the user settings. Let's look into the types of phototherapy units. There are many types of phototherapy lights and modalities, including LED, spotlights, fluorescent blue lights, halogen lights, and phototherapy blankets. The LED neonatal phototherapy unit is an LED phototherapy device that delivers blue light with peak intensity of 455 nm with no unwanted UV and infrared radiation of the baby. The light intensity is constant for up to 20,000 hours, ensuring that treatment of jaundice is effective. The fluorescent phototherapy involves shining fluorescent light from the billy lights on bare skin. A specific wavelength of light can break down bilirubin into a form that the body can get rid of through the urine and stool. The light looks blue. The halogen phototherapy includes light therapy and heliotherapy. 
The type of therapy you need and the way in which light is used can vary depending on whether the phototherapy is for eczema, psoriasis, or other health conditions. A pad of woven fibers is used to transport light from a light source to your baby. This covered fiber optic pad is placed directly against your baby to bathe the skin in light. Absorption of this light leads to elimination of bilirubin. The Billy Blanket can be used 24 hours a day to provide continuous treatment if prescribed by your doctor. Blood may be drawn and tested during treatment to check bilirubin levels and determine what normal levels are reached and phototherapy is no longer needed. This was the simplified video on phototherapy units. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.